Google Sign Action, and we're just about set to kick off. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The Lobos. New Mexico has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. He's to the 20. At the 30. And he's taken down at the 32. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. He's on the run. He makes his way to about the 42. Got some open field. And down he goes, right around the 46-yard line. They shredded the defense with the option run there. That's a big game to keep this drive going. Check, check. Check. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Game of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Makes it to the 34. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. And he's taken down at the 31. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the 31-yard line. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. Tackle at the 25. That was nose-to-nose -nose football right there, and the defense this time wins the battle. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. complete over the middle. He's all the way. Touchdown. Wow. How about that call to the tight end? Big payoff. Well, the offensive coordinator has wanted to incorporate this young player into their passing attack, and he couldn't have picked a better time to get him the ball. Boy, that was an easy throw for the quarterback. Had to be a mistake of some kind or miscommunication by the defense in that secondary. But the quarterback finds his receiver wide open for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. So a nine-play, 66-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Lopez ready to kick. The Blue Raiders saw one of their top players going down earlier. But it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. They'll bring him down at the 42-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And he's tackled at the 43-yard line. It's second and ten. Ball on the 43. He will tackle immediately. He's got it out to his tight end. 
And he's hit immediately. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Well, that's just too bad. They made the stop, but a flag is going to keep the chains moving. From the 33-yard line, first down. He's tackled at about the 23-yard line. and goal and a touchdown ties it folks and they make the stop at the six yard line three yard gain by the running back Gets another hand up. Tackle made at about the seven yard line. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. Let's see how the quarterback handles this one. It's third and goal from the seven. The Blue Raiders had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Now he tries to buy some time. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. could break clear so the QB decided to run it in. You've got to like it when your leader takes things into his own hands especially down inside the 10. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He got hit hard. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. The sub package in there defensively, and this five wide receiver set. Looks for his receiver, first down, brought down at the 36. You know, the quarterback that time took a big-time major chance by putting that ball up into coverage. Now, the receiver made the play, they get a first down, and if you're a quarterback, you want to be very, very selective and very careful on how many chances you're willing to take. Fires it out. He's taken down at the 47. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's immediately tackled. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver one. the catch and look out and down he goes at the 24 yard line what a throw for a big game that is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch from the 24 yard line first down they come out in a five wide set and he makes it out to about the 24 yard line that makes it second and ten The middle for a nice game. With the run. Game of seven on the play. That makes it third and three. Easy, easy. Gets rid of a 
quickly, and that was almost picked. The deflection prevented them from getting any yards, and now it's fourth down. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Middle Tennessee State is looking to go up by three. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. False start, offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches Still have a low down. threshold for mistakes like that. He gets it up, and he got it. The Blue Raiders wide receiver out with an apparent injury, although he might make a comeback later in this game. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 42. And that right there was a pretty good kick return. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. They'll knock him down for a loss. Loss of one in the That'll bring up second and 12. It's second and 12. Ball on their own 41. Scrambling around. And he's taken down at the 49. That's a game of 10 on the play. Third down. Two tights, two tights. Four down, four down. Hey, check my 33, check my 33. Set. Blue 14, blue 14. He gets to about the 41 yard line. From the 41 yard line, it's first down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That makes it second and 14. Seven yard line. That's a loss of eight yards. And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. hit before he can go anywhere. Well, we get a new quarterback in there. You have to wonder not only how will he do, but what does this do to the starter psyche? is the eighth play of the drive. wide receiver down there on the sideline. Looks like he's warming up. Good to see that he might be able to get back in this game. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. 
The Blue Raiders are having their way on offense so far in this football game. Just a nice rhythm to what they're trying to do. It's a balanced attack, running and throwing, and right now this defense just can't stop them. Well, the defense held them to three on their last possession. Pitching a shutout on this drive would be even better. Goes right, picked off. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. From the 28-yard line, first down. And off, and he's met immediately. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. Ball start, offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback down. can do damage to a drive. Second down and a ways to go because of the penalty. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. They bring him down. We've played one. Middle Tennessee State leads 10-7. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Trying to change the field position with this kick. Little too much leg into that punt, Bill. Bring it out to the 20. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Middle Tennessee State holds a field goal lead. Pass complete and taken down immediately. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. Gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Kill, kill, kill! Check, 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 check. Tosses left, intercepted. They'll bring him down right around the 48-yard line. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. From the 48-yard line, first down. And they hit him in the backfield. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. middle got his back tackle around the 45 yard line third down now and they need to get it down to the 38 he fights forward to about the 43 Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. And they push him out at about 
the 17 yard line. An interception cut this offense last drive short. So I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. He goes out of bounds at the 21. That makes it second and six. Middle Tennessee State is up a field goal. to about the 24-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll bring up third and four. Just throws this one away. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Lopez awaits the snap. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Gibson fields at the 31. And he's tackled at the 45. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And they got him for a loss. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 44-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. He's in trouble. Down the sideline. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 23-yard line. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and 10. Around the 14-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Go down. Go down. Check my Down. Cut. 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 He's into the open field. Decides to slide. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. for the corner. Touchdown, Lobos! And once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. Boy, Brad, this guy's having a huge first half. Already two rushing touchdowns, and we know he can throw the football. I love to see his willingness to be able to run with the football and put so much pressure on the defense. And he adds the extra point. New Mexico kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 27. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Brought down immediately. That makes it second and two. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set. And he comes in with his dime packing. Tries to set up a screen for the wide receiver. And they make the stop at about the 37 yard line. Around the 48-yard line. 
makes it first and ten. First down, ten to go. Ball on the 48. Fires it quickly. Nice catch on that one. He's tackled right around the 14-yard line. First down. Hit out of bounds at the five yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Touchdown, Blue Raiders. Quarterback just made that one look pretty simple. Well, this quarterback isn't your average player. He runs the option very well and gives this defense fits. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 24. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the leads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Bring up second and 11. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 23 yard line. He gets to about the 31 yard line. Happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Ball start. Offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. Third down. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Third and eight. Ball on the 26-yard line. Dumps it complete over the middle. Right down at the 31-yard line. Sanders is waiting for the snap. Tucker fields it at the 34. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receiver. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. Middle Tennessee State has a three-point lead. And he just gets rid of it. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's under some heat, and they get the sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. Lopez to punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Heading for the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. 
And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. They'll work the left side. He's taken down at the 44. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. From their own 44-yard line, it's first down. And he's taken down at the 43-yard line. He's scrambling. And down he goes, right around the 30. From the 30-yard line, first down. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He dives, and he'll be marked down. Well defended, but it's complete for good yardage. It's a risky throw here by the quarterback. You cannot keep tossing it up into the secondary like that and expect your guy to come down with it every time. The defense is going to jump on one of those and take it the other way. He's gobbled up in the backfield. New Mexico is going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the nine-yard line, it's second down. He's scrambling, and he can't get away from the pressure. He has one job on passing situations, get to the quarterback, and he did that job very, very well on that play. Big third and goal. Can the defense stop him? Quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. Brad, the wide receiver was the key here. He did a really good job of working that route to the middle of the field for the post. But before he got to the post, he kind of looked off the defender to the outside and he moved back to the middle of the field. And the quarterback recognized the big hole in the defense and made the throw for the touchdown. Rodgers has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. From the eight-yard line. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. They'll bring him down at about the 45. The Blue Raiders will use their first time out of the half. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 45. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. The Blue Raiders call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Hey, watch the ball, watch the ball. They come out in a five-wide set. Now he's flushed, and they got it. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. False start, offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards Still to pick up down. for the first down. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Tackle at about the 41. New Mexico's out of timeout. Gibson is back deep to return the punt. He 
He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. New Mexico holds a four-point lead. Running backs open, and oh, it's dropped. It's third down and five to go. Ball on their own 34. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. Oklahoma, Oklahoma. And this one falls incomplete. Well, we've got a barn burner here. And at the end of the first half, our score, 21-17, New Mexico. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Nobody's been able to run the football in the first half. Neither ground game really got anything going. And you know, an offensive line, David, has to work in unison. They have to be like the Rockettes. They have to be in perfect step. And these guys, they were dancing to their own tune. That's the biggest Rockettes I've ever seen. Goodness gracious. Ugliest ones, yeah. too. The, uh, well, the big fat boys do have to work together. The big uglies, and they got to step together. But And you can't allow guys to run through clear. And you, and you see tackles for a loss, especially in the run game when it's this unsuccessful in the first half. You know they're not all working together. And there's too many guys that are getting penetration and making plays. So they got to get it shirt up. Run blocking is the thing they like to do the best. They like to get their big meat hooks on you, grab you, and hold you. And, you know, to be honest, they got to do a better job of it if they want to get some successful running game going in the second half. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, bro. I'm going to get some of the cafeteria. I'm hungry. Wait, 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 don't leave until you get my order. Brad, Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. Gibson deep to return. He's to the 20. Oh, man, did he take a hit. So we're just about ready to return to action. New Mexico is up by four. Pitches him, and he's got a lane. He's pushed out of bounds around the 39-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 39. Slings it, and he's tackled at the 40-yard line. Bacon makes the tackle at the 40-yard line. That'll make it third. From their own 40-yard line, third down. He heaves it deep. No, incomplete. And that'll make it fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Sanders awaits the snap. He makes it to the 38-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He might have a chance. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That's a game seven on the play. That makes it second and two. There's 
He gets to about the 41-yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's Personal check foul. out the penalty. Clipping. Offense. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. Personal foul, face mask, defense. They're giving away three yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. From midfield, first down. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Here comes the pressure. Steps up into the pocket, and they've got it. That'll bring up second and 15. Second and long. Ball on the 45. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. He airs it out. That's going to bring up fourth down. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Lopez is the putter. He punt. No, he faked it. Tackle at the 38. They drew up a direct snap to the up back, and it got him a huge first down. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 38 yard line. Out of bounds at the 33 yard line. A little toss across the middle, and they make the stop at about the 27 yard line. He makes it to the 25 yard line. This is the 11th play of this drive. Over the middle to his tailback. He's tackled right around the 22-yard line. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks away, and he missed it right. No good. You know, for a second there, I thought it might hook back, but it just kept slicing to the right. That's tough break. We're about set to start things up again. New Mexico is up four. Gets to about the 24-yard line. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Brought 
down around the 27 yard line. And they're coming after this punter. Tucker takes it to 36. Knocked out of bounds at the 49. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Somebody jumped early down there. Ball start, offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch down. is going to be enough to draw the flag. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. Nice run, and he's brought down. Carries the ball. Gain of four yards. That'll bring up second and one. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. He scrambled. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That's a loss of one yard. That brings up fourth and seven. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. New Mexico holds a four-point lead. Taken down around the 29-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That'll bring up third and four. The Lobos, wide receiver down there on the sideline. Looks like he's warming up. Good to see that he might be able to get back in this game. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. Sanders is waiting for the snap. The 49 yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And down he goes around the 49 yard line. Carson makes the tackle at the 49 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Caught with room to work. He's out of bounds at the 47. Makes the catch and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. That makes it fourth and eight. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. Oh, 
This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. At this point, you got to think about changing something, whether it's the play calling, whether it's the quarterback. This offense is not doing anything right. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. New Mexico is up by four. And he's taken down at the 28. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Good enough to pick up the first down. Well, that's a strong run. It makes a statement when you can run the ball like that. They try running left. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Nice run to the outside. Five yards there for the quarterback. That makes it third and three. They'll bring him down around the 38-yard line. And it looks like this one's going to come down to the final quarter. New Mexico's up by four. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. They'll get him for a loss. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Second and 14. Ball on the 34-yard line. Tackle at the 35-yard line. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. It is he throws, and it's going to be picked off. Big opening. And he's tackled just outside the goal line. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. It's first down. First and goal here. Let's see if they keep it on the ground inside the five. New Mexico is up four. Touchdown, New Mexico. This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Fielded at the nine. Brought down at the 28-yard line. Kirk, I remember you had nights like this. The thing that's standing out to me right now, Brad, is this defense has been so consistent with their pass rush that I'm noticing the quarterback's eyes, instead of looking downfield and reading the defense, he's actually looking down at the pressure and is more concerned about that than making the proper read. These errors have plagued him the entire game, and we'll see if that's how he finishes as well. well let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. 
They hand it off. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a gain of five on the play. That brings up second and five. Watch 35. Watch 35. And they make the stop at about the 41. That makes it first and ten. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle made around the 48-yard line. He's at the 40, and he's hit immediately. That brings up second and one. Up the middle for a nice game. That's good for a game of four yards. First down. Fires out to his wide out. He's hit and taken down. That makes it first and ten. From the 22-yard line. First down. Fires it out. He's knocked out of bounds. Around the 18-yard line. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. And he can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of four yards. That brings up second and goal. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Roger, Roger. Hey, hey, hey. Go for it. Slings it. And he's shoved out of bounds at the two-yard line. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. That makes it 30 goal. hard at the one yard line the offense is staying on the field it's all or nothing here we go finds the man touchdown So he found his receiver for the score. And the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. They rolled the dice and went for it on fourth, and I'm sure they're happy with the result. In the shotgun and five wideouts. They don't get it! A 12-play, 72-yard drive. And they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start. Offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. First and 15 now after the penalty. And he is drilled. 
the 23-yard line. The option keeper gets him two, maybe three yards. He was playing the run all the way and was able to stop him quickly. Good job by that senior safety. From their own 28-yard line, it's third down. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He gets hit out of bounds around the 41-yard line. Yard line. First down. Makes it out to about the 39. That makes it second and two. Defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. And here's another third down. And he's level at the 40. That'll make it fourth and two. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. Well, that's what it's all about for these guys. If you can turn up the pressure, you'll create more chances for your defense. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. Contributions from this defense is one reason they've got the lead. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator's got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. They'll spread the field with five wide. Makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. They go to the left for a nice game. First down. Quick throw, brought down at about the 31. Brown brings him down at the 31 yard line. That brings up second and nine. He's tackled at about the 29 yard line. Pretty obvious passing down here as they're faced with third and long. Less than three minutes in the game. Short over the middle. He's taken down at the 29. Lopez awaits the snap. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. 
Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. seven-yard line. The Blue Raiders will use their first time out of the half. Third down now, and they need to get it out to the 50. He's going to air it long. Can't connect. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. 98 Weasel! 98 Weasel! Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. Tucker takes it to 28, and down he goes at the 35. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Quick pass, and he's taken down around the 40-yard line. That brings up second and five. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on them. Third and five situation. Ball on their own 40. Just over a minute left. Come on, D! He goes downtown. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. Passes it to the middle of the field. He's at midfield. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 42-yard line. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. They'll bring him down right around the 34. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Finds his man. First down. At the 22. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's Pushing coming back. Foul. Clipping. Offense. That's frustrating for a coach when you preach down. fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. From the 37 yard line, it's second down. Stop your body. He gets rid of this one. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. Slings it out and it gets tipped. Well, folks, fourth down again, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Under a minute left. He's going to try and scramble. Wow, what a battle and what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. For 
Slate. Gets the carry. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. The Blue Raiders use their second timeout. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Middle Tennessee State will take their final timeout. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Ball start, offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out Still there, it's down. bound to happen occasionally. So the penalty makes it first and 15. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. in the books. The Lobos get the victory 28-23. And the Middle Tennessee State Blue Raiders. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.